Hey all, in this video I will be showing you how to play two different versions of Minecraft Virtual Reality on the Oculus Quest 1 or 2 using Oculus Link, Virtual Desktop or ALVR. The two different versions you can play is Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Minecraft Java Edition. The benefits of Minecraft Bedrock Edition is that you can play from Minecraft Windows 10 Edition and connect with other consoles like Minecraft on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation 4 and 5, mobile and more. One of the major downsides to Minecraft VR in Bedrock Edition is the interaction. With the VR version of Minecraft Java Edition, you can punch blocks and break them, climb ladders with your hands, shoot a bow and arrow like in real life, and breaststroke to swim. You can do this and so much more. So to get Minecraft Windows 10 Edition in VR, go to the Microsoft Store and search for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. You can get many different versions here. They all include the base game, just some also include other texture packs and skin packs. I would recommend just the base game though, as some of these other bundles can get quite expensive and aren't that cheap. But what is cheap is cdkoffers.com Windows 10 Pro Keys, which is who is sponsoring this video. On cdkoffers.com, you can buy Windows 10 Pro Keys at a cheaper price than Minecraft Bedrock or Java Edition. Just go to cdkoffers.com and search for the Windows 10 Pro key, then click buy now or add to cart, make an account, use the offer code HOR20 for 20% off, select a payment method and boom, you now have a Windows 10 key. But to activate it, you just need to go to settings, system, about, and click on change the product key or upgrade windows, then press change product key and enter it in. Wait for that to finish and it's all done. Now back to the video. Once you buy Minecraft from the store, run it and log in with your Microsoft account to make sure it works. Now open up the Oculus PC app and search for Minecraft. The first game is the one. Click on it and click free or download. This downloads the app onto your computer into your Oculus folder. So the Oculus version you just downloaded is a patch to change the Minecraft Bedrock Edition and make that able to be played in virtual reality. Next, all you want to do is connect your Quest to your computer with either Oculus Link, Virtual Desktop or ALVR. I have a video on how to install Virtual Desktop ALVR and Oculus Link in the top right of the video. Once you connect your headset to the computer, for Oculus Link, click Minecraft and launch it from the library. Hey, um, this is editing me. Um, if you're having an issue with the Minecraft Bedrock Edition in VR, this Reddit post also has a way to fix it, so go to Windows Search by pressing the Windows button and type up Reg Edit and run with administrator privileges. Then, go to the file in HKey Local Machine, then Software, then Kronos, OpenXR, 1. For the active runtime file, change its value to the one that matches your Oculus OpenXR thing. So, if your Oculus files are saved in the default, then it should be C, Program Files, Oculus Support, Oculus Runtime, Open xr64.json copy that from the link in the description and paste that into the source then close registry editor and it should work as fine if you're using ALVR or virtual desktop to play PC VR Minecraft you need to get a program called Revive this allows you to play all Oculus apps on the Rift platform on any VR headset no matter if you have the Oculus Quest 1 or 2, Valve Index, HTC Vive, or any other headset like Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Set it up from the link in the description and start up the Oculus app and Steam.
Connect your headset and launch Minecraft VR from the Oculus app. With this version, you can play with people on any other device, like mobile, Xbox, PlayStation, and more. The other version of Minecraft you can play in VR, and in my opinion, the better version, is called Minecraft Java Edition, or for the VR version, Vivecraft, as it was originally intended for the HTC Vive, which is a PC VR headset. This works with any headset that is capable of playing PC VR content. So, go to the website minecraft.net and press Get Minecraft. Choose Computer, PC, and Java Edition. Click on Minecraft and make an account if you don't already have Minecraft Java Edition. After, download that and run the install file. Then, run the game once and start up the game on the re latest release and not the snapshot. The snapshot is pretty much just a beta of the game and is not able to be played in VR at the moment. Once Minecraft loads into the menu, you can exit off the game, then go to the site on your web browser, vivecraft.org, and click Downloads at the top right. Then scroll down to the version you want to get and click VR Client Download. After, go to java.com and click Download at the top of the page, and click Agree and start the download. Open the download file and run the install. Once finished, you can open the Vivecraft installer and you don't have to change any settings but the RAM allocation. In your computer, if you don't know, RAM is just temporary memory and storage that your computer can use and once your computer gets shut down, then it gets lost. But it is used in lots of games and productivity. You can change the RAM allocation from 2 gigs, 4 gigs, 6 gigs or 8 gigs. I'd recommend either 6 gigs or 8 gigs for better performance, although it does depend on how much RAM you do have in your computer. I would recommend half of what you have in your computer. For example, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which if you want to know is the G-Skill Trident Z Neo at 3600 megahertz with a cast latency of 16. So I use 8 gigs of RAM for Vivecraft. Then click install and wait for it to finish. Once done, open Minecraft, Steam, and Oculus. Connect your headset to your PC either using Virtual Desktop, ALVR, or Oculus Link, and run the Vivecraft latest version from the Minecraft launcher, and it should start. The benefits of playing with this version of Minecraft VR is that you can interact with blocks and mobs how you would think you can by punching blocks with a pickaxe to break them or an axe to chop them, slicing mobs with a sword or an axe, and boating with the oars of the boat, and climbing with your hands. Here is a gameplay comparison between the two versions of Minecraft, which is Bedrock Edition and Java Edition.
So, that's how you can play Minecraft VR on the Oculus Quest 1 or 2 using Oculus Link, ALVR or Virtual Desktop. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Also, comment frog if you get this far so I know you're part of the VR crew. Thanks and take care.